Imagine a future where battles are fought not by soldiers but by robots. Armored machines capable of seeing the enemy in the dark, shooting with precision and following orders without fear. This is not science fiction. Such combat machines already exist. Today we will tell you about the Russian combat robot, Uran-9. Why has it sparked so much debate? How does it work? And can it replace real soldiers? Watch the video until the end, it's going to be fascinating. Uran-9 is a Russian combat robotic complex. Essentially, it is a tank that is controlled remotely. It was developed for reconnaissance, fire support, and enemy destruction without endangering the operator's life. This machine weighs about 10 tons and is armed comparably to a full-fledged infantry fighting vehicle. Its main caliber is the 30mm automatic cannon 2A72. This powerful weapon can penetrate the armor of light combat vehicles and destroy enemy fortifications. The auxiliary armament includes a 7.62mm machine gun and guided missiles, Attica. And if the enemy tries to use aviation, Arun 9 can deploy the portable anti-aircraft missile system IGLA. How is this robot controlled? The operator is in a safe shelter and remotely controls the machine using cameras and sensors. This means that soldiers are not risking their lives under enemy fire. However, such control has its challenges. If the connection is lost, the robot can become useless. One of Uran 9's main tests was its combat debut in Syria. In real combat conditions, the machine demonstrated not only its strengths but also serious shortcomings. For example, the robot had issues with its navigation system, lost connection with the operator over long distances, and its chassis proved to be less reliable than expected. Imagine this. The operator gives a command to move forward, but the robot suddenly freezes. In battle, every second can mean the difference between life and death, and if the technology fails the entire operation is at risk. Such moments revealed problems that needed improvement. After the combat testing, developers addressed all deficiencies and made modifications. They enhanced connectivity, improved the control system and upgraded the chassis. Now Uran 9 is more reliable. But is it ready for full-scale battlefield deployment? Time will tell. Many experts argue whether such technology can replace real soldiers. Some believe this is the future of warfare where combat robots do all the dangerous work. Others are convinced that humans are irreplaceable in battle because a robot cannot make complex decisions in unpredictable situations. Imagine a scenario. Uran 9 encounters a group of civilians, but among them is an enemy. How will the robot distinguish one from the other? A human can assess the situation, but a machine acts only according to its programming. This is why even the most advanced combat robots cannot yet replace living soldiers. However, technology is advancing rapidly. Militaries around the world are developing new generations of combat machines that will be smarter, faster, and more accurate. Perhaps in a few years, only robots will fight on the battlefield, while soldiers will control them from safe command centers. Think about the first cars, slow, unreliable, and difficult to drive. But over time they became fast, safe, and convenient. The same goes for combat robots. They are in their early stages now but in the future they may become the backbone of the military. Uran 9 is not just a weapon. It is a symbol of a new era in military technology. It still has drawbacks, but it shows the direction in which military science is evolving. Perhaps in a few decades, armies will consist entirely of robots, with humans managing battles from afar. What do you think? Can combat robots replace soldiers? Or will human warriors remain the main force on the battlefield? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new exciting videos. See you soon.